Good morning. The song you have just heard is Not Easy by Alex the Kid and IBM Watson. It is a song made completely by artificial intelligence with vocus, vocals by Alex the Kid. Yes, it's crazy. A full song made by artificial intelligence. These are, the, these are some of the things that artificial intelligence can do in the present day. Artificial intelligence is somewhat of an uncommon topic that not a lot of people know, know about. Especially because people don't know the implications that it already has in their life, but also that will have in their life. Artificial intelligence is everywhere in things such as Uber, Airbnb, and voice assistants such as Siri and Amazon's Echo. It is everywhere and it is very present in our lives right now. Maybe it's, it could be showing you your future wife. Maybe it is translating your language using Google Translate. Imagine the possibilities. First of all, I would like to show you what artificial intelligence is. The Britannica definition of artificial intelligence is the ability of a digital computer or computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings. What this means, it is a highly creation, a, the creation of highly intelligent and capable beings, which could outsmart us uh, humans and possibly perform tasks better than we can. This leads many people to believe that this is quite a dangerous thing as it has such a full potential and rapid development. Many visionaries such as Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk believe that artificial intelligence could be a potential danger that one day may condemn us all. As many visionaries, as I mentioned, said artificial intelligence is a weapon or it's a tool. It's a very divided topic as such. As Stephen Hawking said, artificial intelligence may spell the end of the human race. One example of this already happening is a study conducted on Facebook, which consisted of two computers run by artificial intelligence that started to develop their own language and started to communicate with each other. After this, the Facebook team had to shut it off. Another example of this is last year, DeepMind's AlphaGo program, which beat Lisa Dahl, the world champion at Go, which, let me put this into frame. Go is a Chinese game, not like chess, which can be predicted, uh, future moves and many more predictions you can make with mathematical algorithms. The thing with Go is there are more atoms in the universe than Go possibilities. Therefore, um, the DeepMind program beat the world champion. And as many world champions said, the way to beat someone at Go it's not with an algorithm or a prediction, it's with your feelings. Therefore, this is pretty scary stuff. But wait, there's more. AI is now even creating its own AI. A few weeks ago, Google's AI self-replicated and created its own child AI. This is terrifying. How could we handle this stuff without suffering the possible repercussions that could eventually, or possibly, lead us into better future or even a worse future. You might ask, will we be the cat or the mouse? Will we be the ant or the boot? It is clear that AI is very present in our lives and will keep doing so as it is becoming much more accessible to the public. And I wanted to take this to the test. So around three months ago, I started to develop a chatbot of my own. So I started to develop this, and with the help of a few people in the beginning, such as my girlfriend's mom, Maria Carolina, and my dad, I started to develop a chatbot that was sort of like a mini-me, which, which had my personality, could talk like myself, could answer questions about my music tastes, my favorite foods, and many other things about me. This, you could talk to this chatbot through platforms such as Facebook Messenger or a dedicated web server. This also led me to meet a company called Cognitiva, uh, which is a sub-channel of the company IBM, which focuses on development of artificial intelligence and how this can apply in modern technology. This also led me to meet my guest speaker, Diego Sainz, which is the general manager of Cognitiva. 
We talked for a few hours and had a lot of fun brainstorm about how AI can impact our world and our future. It was extremely fun, even though everybody in the building looked at me like I was a weird bug, like they'd never seen a miner in their life. The results of this experiment were mind-blowing, as this meant that anybody with a couple of free hours could develop their own AI. That's really crazy. Could you imagine what this could bring to our future, to the children, to the adults, to the elderly? This could truly be a milestone for technology and a celebration for humanity. AI is everywhere nowadays. And you can see it in our modern society, as at its current state, it's being applied in self-driving cars. Have you seen the Google car? AI assistants, like the ones you have in your phone as of this moment, such as Siri, and even platforms that have simple yet capable algorithms, such as Facebook or Twitter or Netflix. This is a picture of the AI I developed, which had sort of like a WhatsApp interface to which you can have a simple conversation with. More examples of what AI can do in the present day is things such as recognize objects in images or recognize emotions in images. Discover new uses for existing drugs. Spot burglars in your home. Even trade stocks, heck, even be Super Mario Brothers. Uh, make music, as you saw in the song Alex the Kid. This might have a lot of more real world applications that basically will make our future. This in the future will have applications in things such as law, medicine, arts and crafts, mass production of products, which will eventually launch us into a future filled with excitement and progress. Will humanity be careful not to use this AI for the wrong reasons and end up suffering the consequences? Will AI, as it's more capable to do most jobs, leave us jobless? Well, not really, because I think this would be an opportunity to further us into a brighter future, as you wouldn't have to do the same repetitive tasks anymore. You could spend more time doing creative products, spending more time with your family, getting new hobbies, learning new things. Our repetitive tasks we do every day could and will be handled by AI in the future. Will artificial intelligence be smarter than organic intelligence? Most definitely. If AI becomes self-aware, will its ethics and its morals be aligned with ours? You might say, well, yeah, of course. You could program it to think like us, to feel like us, uh, to have the same motives and morals of us. But anything can go wrong. That's why many visionaries such as Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, Bill Gates are having these preoccupations. All these questions lead to many more questions, which unfortunately can't be answered as of now. But I tell you, AI will be the future, and there is a very bright future. These questions will be answered very shortly. AI is not here to enslave us, it's here to free us. It's here to make us further into a brighter humanity, a smarter humanity. Artificial intelligence is here and it's here to stay. Thank you.